Mehnaj, you're starting a YouTube channel soon. Congratulations. Awesome. Um, so folks who are watching this recording later, you can look up Mehnaj. Uh, what, what's your YouTube channel going to be called, by the way? Healing with Poetry. Healing with Poetry. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay. And they can search your name too, probably. But um, your question was about YouTube shorts versus longs and which one gets more subscribers. And I just wanted to, I, we, we did this before I started recording, but I'll show this for everyone who's watching the recording is um, here is a short video that got 439 views. This short video, in fact, was about what I do, George Cow, what I do, right? So I'm assuming people watch a short, they like it, they probably would subscribe. 439 views, I got one subscriber. All right, fine. This is a YouTube long video. It's not about what I do, but it's about a message I give. Almost the exact same number of views, got nine subscribers versus 437 and nine subscribers for a long video. 439 and only one subscriber is short video. And the and it makes sense because if you watch your dear viewer, you're you looking at YouTube shorts, you, you know what happens. You just keep scrolling, you just keep scrolling. You don't usually give the same attention and go, who's this person? Oh, this sounds really cool. I'm gonna subscribe. And by the way, I do I don't I never talk about I never ask people to subscribe in my videos. I'm not saying you should, but that's just not my my habit. So this this is really organic subscriptions, right? Anyway. Um, but Marinas, we were just continuing to talk about, well, what's important then? Well, I, both are important and it's important for you to test both shorts and longs and compare the same number of views, which one's getting you more subscribers. Chances are the shorts will get a lot more views because of the YouTube algorithm. That's how it works. And so who knows if something gets 10 times more views, you could get even more subscribers than the long video that got, you know, less views anyway. But I was just saying how, you know, subscribers isn't really the main way you grow on YouTube. Okay, Let's, this is very important. I mean, go and check out your own YouTube home feed and your YouTube shorts. Do the recommended videos, are they people you subscribe to? I mean, half of them aren't, I noticed. I mean, all of us, those of us who watch YouTube, discover a lot of new people, right? I mean, that's how YouTube works. So most of the people who are going to discover you and probably watch any, particularly any video that goes viral, obviously it's not based on the subscribers who like shared it. I mean, sometimes they do. Most of the videos that go viral is because YouTube says, hey, my gosh, this topic is relevant for the current culture we, based on the keywords. And people not only clicked on, therefore people clicked on the video, not surprised, and they watched enough long and longer than most videos that they they, they they watch in that sitting session hey we're going to promote this to a lot of people so in other words i am not as concerned about subscribers as i am concerned about the topic of the video and the title and the thumbnail and how watchable the video is that's going to get you way more youtube traffic in the long term does that make sense yeah thank yeah, you yeah totally totally yeah